Sparking debate, the nation's largest sporting goods chain changing the way it does business. Dick Sporting Goods announcing it will no longer sell military-style rifles following the deadly massacre two weeks ago in Parkland, Florida. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis is now live in West Nashville with what else is going into this decision. Well, Scott and Stacey, last November, the Parkland shooter reportedly bought a gun from a Dick's Sporting Goods store. The CEO says it's not the same gun used in the attack, but it's enough to stop selling certain ones. Never again! Never Florida students again! stormed the Capitol this week to honor the 17 lives lost in the Parkland High School shooting. The demand is better gun control. Those that supply are now responding like Dick's Sporting Goods. We did everything by the book that we were supposed to do. But Dick's CEO announced today the store will no longer sell military-style rifles like the AR-15 the Parkland shooter bought legally from another supplier and used in the recent tragedy. And somehow this kid was still able to buy a gun from us. And we said, we just, we, we don't want to be a part of this story any longer. Now, honestly, I thought it was a joke at first. Veteran Gabriel Wren owns Northside Gun Shop in Columbia, Tennessee. I can name five other rifles in that class that do the exact same thing, that carry the exact same caliber. So really, it's a knee-jerk reaction, um, and I'm not so sure that they're not doing it to boost sales. I wanted to express my support, so I came out and made a purchase at Dick's. I don't shop here very often. Carol White is a Nashville resident that shopped with a purpose at Dick's on Wednesday. I was so impressed this morning when I heard the CEO of Dick's Sporting Goods take a stand um, for reasonableness. If they're so against it, they should remove every other semi-automatic rifle. I don't have any plans of removing anything. The law says that if you're a criminal, you can't have a gun. Banning more firearms isn't going to stop a criminal. 20 years ago, we didn't have these issues. I think the real problem is how these kids are being raised, and it really needs to start in the home. It's not the government's job. Walmart says it's restricting gun sales to 21 and older in 30 minutes. How mid-state residents feel about gun reform. Reporting live from West Nashville, McCabe Lewis, Fox 17 News. And Fox 17 News wants to know what you think about Dick's decision. You can go to our Twitter page, that's at Fox Nashville, cast your vote in our poll. Right now, here are the numbers. At the moment, 53% of the 236 votes we have think it's a great idea. 24% uh, say a bad idea. 4% simply aren't sure. We are